Drago here too? Or? Yeah, uh, he actually, he must be somewhere here. Okay. Lepo zdravo sem skupaj. Verjetno ste že videli, da v bistvu nas je Ted Ligeti. Poleg Kranjske gore je to... How many times have you been here in Slovenia? You raced Kranjske gore? Four times. Tirkrat je bil na tekmi v Kranjske gore, drugač pa v Ljubljani prvič. Zelo bi bilo tukaj ga imate na voljo, da ga vprašate, karkoli pa želite. Drugače pa gre za promocijo Rosenjola, opreme na kateri Ted Ligeti tekmuje. Skratka, da zahvaljujemo se mu, da je ozel čas po tekmi v Seldnu, ker je končal na trečem mestu. Še nekaj dni je podaljšo obivanje v Evropi in v bistvu leti jutri v Ameriko in se potem vrne v Levi na drugo tekmo svetovnega pokaja. Tako da, izvolite, če imate vprašanje, kar bomo vseli. Which team do you support in NBA and NHL? Utah and? Oh yeah, the Jazz are definitely my favorite team. I don't really follow hockey all that much, but I'm a big Jazz fan. I go to as many games as I can. I went to every playoff game the last two years, so it's a it's a lot of fun following the Jazz, and I think they have a good team, team this year, and uh, hopefully they win the, win the champs. <laughs> um, do you have any interesting hobbies? Oh, during the summertime, I mountain bike a lot, water ski. I mean, I play just about every sport out there, so uh, I mean, that's that's one of my favorite hobbies, just doing sports. So, yeah, it's a good life I have. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what do you think about the Slovenian girls? Like Slovenian girls? Yeah, they're beautiful for sure. <laughs> Did you have any contact with them? No. <laughs> <laughs> about comparison between American and Slovenian girls? The compare oh, well, I don't know that many Slovenian girls very well, so um, it's hard for me to draw upon comparisons. <laughs> Obama or McCain? <laughs> um, uh, I, well, I, I know who I want to vote for, but, <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, uh, whatever, uh, Obama. <laughs> uh, you were very successful in Kranska Gora twice yeah. on podium. Uh, is it something uh, you feel very special about Kranska Gora? Yeah, Kranska Gora has always been one of my favorite hills. Uh, first place I ever qualified for a second run and a uh, second... Second time I was ever, I was ever on the podium was in Kronska, so it's uh, it's definitely one of my favorite hills and one of my favorite places to be for ski racing. Uh, the hill there is really cool. It's uh, it suits my style perfectly, so uh, it's always it's always a special place for me to go every year. Are your plans for this season only slalom and giant slalom, or do you have any ambitions to improve also in uh, super G or downhill? Every every summer I work pretty hard on my super G and downhill. Um, those are my priorities, just because slalom and GS are my my uh, best events. So I focus most of my time on those. But uh, every year I try to get better. I still do. Uh, I'll do some downhills and super Gs here and there. But it's uh, it's not a main focus. If I have a tech race coming up, I'll I'll skip the the super G or downhill to pre prepare for that. How are you with Bodhi? Bodhi and I are friends. I mean, we're not we're not best friends. We don't talk every day on the phone or anything. But uh, we get we get along pretty well and. Uh, I mean, it's cool watching how he skis and uh, his, his ideas and whatnot. But you don't have ambitions to go on your own way, as I like his body, body. No, I think being within the team for me is the, is the best way. I mean, it's uh, it's easier that way. You don't have to worry about the stresses of organizing your own hotel rooms or driving around the buses or whatever that he does. And, uh, it's good too to be on the, with the rest of the guys and training with the rest of the team. And so you have other friends to, to rely on just in, as, a, as opposed to being by yourself all the time.